Thanks for taking a few minutes to see how easy it is to integrate Endgame with the Simplify Security Operations platform. To begin, let's go to the Simplify Marketplace. Here you can see all the product integrations that are currently available. To make use of the in-game integration, I simply search for in-game and I download the integration package. Once downloaded, I can make use of it to stream threats directly into Simplify, as well as incorporate in-game into any playbook. Before we do that, let's take a closer look at the integration itself. While I know not all SOCs have programmers or coders on staff, if you do, you'll like the fact that Simplify includes an IDE that allows you to customize your default integrations as well as create your own. So let's take a look at that right now. So the visibility into the integration enables you to see exactly how we're interacting with the end game. If you'd like to add additional actions to the end game integration, no problem. Click the plus sign, select action and the end game integration, and you're ready to go to create your own custom integration actions. Now let's get back to the playbooks. A good example playbook is malware because that is a very common investigation that SOCs face daily. Let me show you how easy it is to not only create a playbook to triage, invest, investigate, and respond to malware, but to use this malware investigation to initiate automated threat hunting within game. So to begin, let's go to the playbook section of the platform. Here you can see in my environment, I have several malware playbooks already available. In fact, when you buy Simplify, you get access to over 80 playbook templates that you can use to kickstart your own playbooks. Since I have some playbooks available, I'm going to go ahead and copy an existing malware playbook and make some modifications to incorporate in-game. To duplicate a playbook, I simply select the playbook and click the duplicate button. Now all I have to do is change the name and I'm ready to make any changes I need. The first thing I'm going to do is add some enrichment steps after the initial playbook trigger. Here I'll grab information from Active Directory as well as additional endpoint data from Endgame. Now adding these steps is literally a snap. I select the action I want from the Actions tab and I snap it into the playbook like this. So the playbook I copied already had an action to submit the suspicious file to VirusTotal, so I'm going to leave that there. So with that information, that's going to wrap up what I'll call the triage phase of the playbook. Now we want the playbook to make a tier one decision using this triage information. To do that, we're going to insert a condition here. The condition is going to have some very simple logic that says if virus total shows the file to be risky, we want to go ahead and proceed with the investigation. If it's found not to be risky, we're going to close it out as a false positive. Of course, in real life, you might want to take some other steps there, but just for simplicity's sake, we're going to leave that, that as a false positive in our example. Moving forward in the investigation, I want to go ahead and interact with Endgame again here to initiate that automated threat hunt. I'll snap in the hunt file action here, indicating to Endgame that I wanted to search across the endpoints looking for other instances of this piece of malware. Now I could have also added additional hash values that were found in VirusTotal if I wanted. That's super simple as well. The point here, this playbook should model whatever process you want to follow and what your team wants to follow. And it's very simple and all the steps are completely up to you. In our example here, since we've, we've broadened the scope of the investigation now to include this automated threat hunting, we're at a point where we want to provide to the analyst the ability to initiate the final response. So I'm going to add in here a multi-choice decision step. And it's going to be very basic. It's going to say to the analyst, do they want to proceed, yes or no? If they say yes, we're going to automate the responses by inserting actions that will block any associated URLs of the firewall. We're going to go ahead and send emails to the impacted users, as, as well as create a ticket in our ticketing system, which in this example, let's say it's ServiceNow, that's going to let IT know that these, these endpoints need to be re-imaged. And that's going to include any of the additional endpoints we found during our automated threat hunt. And it's really as simple as that. We can automate the entire response process. At this point, we're ready to close out the playbook and push it into production for use. Integrating in-game into the Simplify Security Operations platform not only eliminates a lot of manual tasks, but it also boosts your ability for your team to uncover hidden threats. To learn more about the Simplify Security Operations platform or schedule a private demonstration, visit us at simplify.co.